Okay, if you're a writer or you outsource content like blog articles or anything on on Fiverr or you have somewhere in your business or you do it for yourself that you write articles, this tool can really help you out. I, sh I, was, uh, I was presented this tool from a writer of mine and I found it actually pretty useful. So I'm not really using it because I don't write articles myself, but I've done a few tests and it's a pretty neat. So let me show you how it works. Now there are links that you can add for your research. You can also do research. So let's say here I've, I've added a, a keyword and it gives me the results from Google, the, the top results. Now, if for example, I like uh, this, this first uh, result. So let's see, it's from radreads.co. Now it shows me the whole outline. They scrape this from the, from the tags that they use. So for example, this, we know it's an H2. And so this is an H2 and this is an H2. And so they take these and you see there's even the images and you can add all of this straight to your canvas here. So let's say I want to add, um, I want to add this image. I click this and it adds it here. So you can add bits of and parts. So I want to add this, for example, here it is. Now, let me show you what else you can do. You can also check the outline of different uh, different blocks. So everything here is a block basically. And let me show you actually the questions. Actually, that's what I wanted to show you. So the questions are the questions that are in the results from Google. So these are the, the things that, that the, the searcher is, is intending to find. So the, the search intent from, a, from an SEO perspective is basically the, the person that's searching, what are they looking for? And so this content editor helps you not only write an article, but it helps you throughout the whole workflow process also for SEO. So uh, here you can also find statistics. This is really important for uh, uh, quality content. And so let's say I want to add this, uh, it's a video, or let's say, for example, this, this is another statistic. Sometimes they'll be a bit off, but it's whatever is fine. You got to look, you got to look up the source for sure, if it's uh, reliable or not. Now I'm going to show you another thing, which is in the, in the process of keywords. So, uh, let's say I, I open this and this was where I was in the beginning. So when I opened the article, here it is, this is my canvas where I can write and it's a full blown editor, by the way. So there's uh, you can add images, links, bullet points, uh, code, you can, you can really add a lot of things and you can also add videos and there's a lot of stuff that you can add. So let's say, for example, you want to show the blocks then they'll even show you how the blocks are separated because in, in this blog editor, it's, uh, it's all about blocks. Now, let's say now I'm in, in the research document and I want to go to the next phase. Um, well, actually there's just one. Okay. So let's go to the links. Now, if I want to add links, for example, when I'm writing my article for research, then I'll write them here. If I want to add notes, I can write them here. I can add also my keywords. So let's add my keywords. Let's search for, uh, this is what it's about SEO, I think. So SEO. SEO for dummies, for example. Now the search results are going to give you keywords and these are pulled from Moz. So they're a reliable source. And this basically lets you add the different keywords here. You can add uh, these keywords like this. So let's say I add all of these and now I want to add them. I want to add another one like SEO tools, get statistic data. Okay. Some features will ask you for a little bit of, uh, of, uh, it'll, it'll cost something like you, like you just seen here, but it's, it's really pennies. Like uh, if you add the 10 bucks, you'll, you'll be good for a while. Um, but, uh, you don't need to add them. You can also do without. So here you can also filter your keywords and all these keywords. So let's say I choose some of them are favorites. You can also multi-select. Um, and basically when, when you finish with this, you can go to the auto complete where they can suggest different keywords and also the questions where they can uh, show you the questions that are found on Google and then also ideas. Now this is the keyword tab. Let's go to the compete tab. Now here, if you want to add something, for example, it's going to create a, a heat map of the keywords. So 
uh, they say provide additional details for competitive research. So SEO tools, and then let's say use my link SERP. And now click analyze. Uh, wait, what's going on here? Okay, so I gotta add my article. So I'll add uh, this one. Okay. Now it gives me results here. And now it shows me here what exactly this keyword has to do with the article. So is it in the focus, is the focus keyword in the SEO title? So the title tag, is it in the body content? Is it in the H2, H3? You don't want them all to be in everything, but in the end, you have to choose your specifics. Uh, it's it's really about, about uh, prior, prioritizing the best keyword based on volume and, and all that. And it shows you here the volume, so you can choose things here. Now, if I go back to the main page, you've got your content, which is this. You've got your research, your assets, which are images, links, research, whatever. Um, you've got a calendar that you can also use to uh, to publish and connect it to, for example, different sites like Shopify and things like that. There's a portfolio that you can use to uh, put your skills out there because there's also a marketplace. And the marketplace lets you write articles for other people if, you, if you're into that. And there's also a... Uh, portfolio that you can put different articles that you've written and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, it shows you here how many blocks you've got. So if it's a large article or whatever, and you can also set uh, different tags. Um, there's the keywords and SEO score. So let's take one that I've already done here. So this is the main page of the article. And as you can see, these are different blocks. So blocks are known as H2s in here. Uh, well, H2s are known as blocks because basically when you write an article, every every title of the article should be an H2, except the first one, of course, which would be an H1. Then if you got something under the H2, it'll be an H3 and then an H4. But as long as you start a new uh, subject or a new, uh, a new paragraph or whatever, you choose an H2 because Google reads H2s and H1. They read H1 as the title of the page, and then they know that every subject within this article is an H2. And H3 for for even more precise articles within uh, paragraphs within the H2. So let's go to uh, the workflow. Now, here workflows you can add custom steps, but these are the default ones. So let's say I want my writer to do the research, the writing, and the SEO optimization, no, plagiarism scan, and that's that. So now I save this. I can write whatever I want here as assignments for them. So I can write specific things about every process, every step of the workflow, because they'll be starting with the research and then they'll write it. Then there's other steps between that, but I want them to, to actually show me what they've got and then I'll approve it, which is one of the other steps. And then they can plagiarism, plagiarism scan it. So it's a pretty cool uh, feature that they've got. Uh, now here, they show you how many keywords are inside the text, so you can even highlight them. Um, now, if I click Optimize here, it'll let me add meta details and uh, my focus keyword and SEO review. So let's just go to the next step. Now it shows me here, SEO for dummies, this is the keyword. I can scan the, the text right now. It shows me 19. Then you can add more keywords. Well, let's, let's just add one for the fun of it. Uh, SEO, just SEO. Okay. There we go. Forty times. Okay, that's a bit a lot. It's a lot, but <laughs> whatever. Now it shows you everywhere it is as well. So is it in the title, in the body content, H two, H 3s URL, all these things? These are these are pretty much the the. It's like a checklist basically. Uh, if you if, even if you don't use this tool, you can even copy this this checklist, and it'll be easy for you to to manage somewhere else. Okay, now if you want to add assets like research, uh, library things like your images that you've added and things like that, you can. You can also do a plagiarism check and audit it here. And then you can also use feedback to show messages to the writer or if you're, if you're hiring someone to write. So, okay, now when you create an article, it'll ask you a few questions. And based on that, it'll give you the progress the, based on the word count, published date, things like that. And 
it's really a, a nice tool to use if you're if you have a few people that are working for you as writers you can add people here and can collaborate easily and you can add multiple people so this tool is uh it's free for uh, for one content portfolio you can have unlimited articles uh, if you can you can basically you can sell your skills basically for free now if you're if you're a freelancer uh, and you want to write from there then you can check out the different things that they offer here they offer it's a pretty it's a pretty good price and then also there's the starter pack the solo pack and uh, for agencies so it's not too expensive honestly it's a really good bang for your buck but right now well for a little while st still i've seen it for a while now on this website appsumo which is 79 dollars if you purchase it on appsumo uh, there's even a 10 percent if you if you pay for their annual uh, subscription now you can see this is the the keyword here, heat map which i forgot to show you but basically the keywords that you have here when you choose in the in the seo section it'll show you a heat map based on every keyword in your in your uh, in your article so it's pretty cool and it tells you if it's easy hard difficult uh, based on the metrics now uh, check it out if you like it and uh, i've purchased one of them just to, just to show you guys and uh, I don't know, I probably won't use it, but if I, if I get a new, a new writer, then I'll, I'll try to see if he wants to use it and uh, maybe even pay him to, to try it and use it because it would be a really good tool to use with writers. Okay, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll get back to you with another one soon.